Hi, my name is Graham Martin, and this video relates to the second part of my book, The Spiritual Journey of a Very Imperfect Man. Following on from the personal testimony of the first part, part two focuses on the transcendent Jesus Christ and his incomparable effect on human history. Hence the subtitle, Understanding the Bigger Picture. Part two then centres on an explanation of Christ's gospel and the surrounding theology, expanding out to demonstrate the uniqueness of Christianity compared to other worldviews such as postmodernism, political correctness, New Age, Eastern thought, Islam, Judaism and the philosophy of science. The writing includes numerous analogies and illustrations with chapters four and five addressing the key issues of truth and relevance. The principal component of chapter four is an objective spine of evidence comprising 10 main points of which the most compelling is probably the fact that we've even heard of Jesus Christ, ostensibly just one of thousands crucified under the Roman Empire. Who were the others? And if not resurrection, what else could have caused the incredible explosion of energy that birthed and escalated the gospel. Energy requires success, not the abject failure of a condemned criminal undergoing a naked public crucifixion. Chapter five focuses on the fact that we are all sinners and need a savior. An, an unconscionable and even offensive view in the modern West. So very, very countercultural. Counter but there again, nothing that the Christian church hasn't faced in the past. I'm going to finish with this excerpt from my book, talking about the vast chasm between Jesus Christ and other worldviews. This chasm exists because firstly, Christ is not some religious teacher, sage or guru reaching out for divine enlightenment, but God himself reaching in with voluntary and deliberate self-disclosure. Secondly, he is not some impersonal ordering structure behind the universe with which we must align ourselves by doing such and such so that we can become such and such, but rather a person, the God-man, totally committed to qualifying us for heaven and eternal life. Finally, although his objective is always that our lives become more and more like his, he is not some rule book simply telling us to get on with it, on the contrary, he is the agape loving son of God who, through his Holy Spirit, can transform and empower us in a reciprocal relationship as we live through him and he lives through us. Thanks for watching and enjoy the book.